Welcome to another episode of The Manly Garage. Today we are going to be discussing high pressure fuel pumps and how to fix them in the event that you get a high pressure fuel pump failed high or high pressure fuel pump failed low code. Specifically, um, after you, you might have installed a set of the uh, low pressure fuel lines upgrades kits for the uh, 4.0T Audi, but this should be generically applicable to most high pressure pumps. As you can see, we've got some pretty crazy projects going on in the garage here for the 4.0T. So make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see how this build develops out into the future. Anyways, um, guys will install a set of these fittings to adapt to a set of um, low pressure lines to increase fuel flow to the pumps. And inside the fitting, there might be like a microscopic piece of dirt or inside the fuel line, there might be a microscopic piece of dirt. So it's really important that you get those cleaned out really well but prior to install. But there's a pretty good chance, and I've seen it happen on more than a few cars, where after the lines get installed, they fire the car up, they end up getting a high pressure fuel pump code for either high or low. And that's typically the result of a piece of dirt getting caught up inside this housing and inside this housing there's a, a valve that's actuated by this solenoid and unfortunately it ends up causing a a quote-unquote failed pump but to get around that what i found that works to fix it and i have yet to see this fix fail is you end up putting a set of wires with 12 volt power. Don't mind the poison oak on my damn hand. I hate poison oak, but you put a set of 12 volt power and ground to the two pins in there, which actuates the solenoid. And then in the front here, you're going to spray brake cleaner in here, which will end up moving its way through the pump and coming out the high pressure side. You're going to shake it out, set your pump back up, Hook your power and ground back up, spray power or spray brake cleaner in the other side until it comes out the fuel feed line, uh, deactivate your power and ground, and you're going to reinstall. And that should get your high pressure pump um, coming back to life. Anyways, hopefully this saves you guys a bunch of money. Um, additionally, if you do have a high pressure pump that has failed for whatever reason, this is definitely worth a shot because you do get fuel deposits that build up in your lines over time. But again, if you guys want to see videos like this and see the development of how this turbocharger build works out, make sure you like and subscribe because I'm going to keep them coming. Uh, if you got any questions, shoot them in the comments below. If there are any videos that you would like to see, uh, also drop those in the comments below. Take it easy. Have a good day. Stay tuned.